Hey everyone, Kevin Jackson here with another KW Agent website tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can embed custom Google Forms right onto your website. My favorite part about this is as soon as they submit the form, you're going to get an email with their answers so you can follow up with them right away, which makes conversion ratios much higher. So let's get started. We're going to go into our Google account first. Click on the app button up top, and you're looking for forms. Mine is not on the main page, so I'm going to go to more, find forms, little purple icon here. Now I'm fairly new to forms. I haven't used them much, but I do love all these different templates they give you. There's even some Keller Williams specific forms. There's a whole bunch of different general forms. As you can see, you can get very creative with the different colors, header images. So you might want to use one of these as a template to get started, or you can create one from scratch like I'm going to be showing you today. So click on blank right there. Right here, this is the title of your form. So we're going to call this one Home Evaluation, Form Description, Find out the value of your home. So down here is where you add your different questions. So you click on Untitled Question. This is where the question itself goes. So we'll start with, what is the property address? And then on the right here, this is how you choose what kind of answer they're going to submit. So for this one, you could probably do short answer for questions like describe your property, describe your criteria. You might want to do paragraph that gives them a little more space. You can do multiple choice questions, linear scales, date, time. There's a lot of different good options there. So we're going to keep this simple. You can also add pictures if you want to. So right here, this required field, if you click yes, that means they have to answer this question before they're allowed to submit the form. So that's very good for questions such as, you know, property address, email address, phone number, those questions that you really want to get their information from. Up here is how you add a new question. So if you click that, you'll see it pops up right underneath. We'll say, How many bedrooms do you have? Now let's say you want to do a multiple choice for this one. You click on option one. We have two bedrooms. To add another option, you click add option. We'll say three or four plus, just to keep it simple. And then right here, you can do add other. So for some questions, you might want to put that in, which will add another field. In case you don't have their answer, they can type in their response right there. Again, make sure you're looking at this required. Toggle right there in case you want that question to be required to answer. Now there's a few different settings right here. These are specific to the question itself. So if you wanted to add an image for that question, a video, you can uh, break it up into different sections if you want. You can add new titles if you are adding sections. And then import questions. I'm assuming you can share them somehow or maybe download your questions. I'm not quite sure how that works, but we'll have to play around with that. Maybe we can share questions with each other. So that's the basics of how you create your questions. I'll just do one more for you so you can see how it looks. When do you need to sell by? And we'll make this one a date. See, it automatically switches to date, which is pretty neat. And they'll be able to just fill that out right there. So now we're going to go into responses, this tab up top. And this is very important step right here. Click these three dots on the right side and you want to check this top one to get email notifications for new responses. If you do that, as soon as they submit the, quest the uh, form, you're going to get that email. 
So if you have notifications on your phone, you will be able to respond within a minute. You can also select different destinations. Say you had a spreadsheet for leads or whatever, you could select that. So there's a lot of different ways you can customize these forms and how you receive the answers. You can also download the CSV. So say you made a contact, general contact kind of form, they could fill it out. You could download that CSV, copy it over to the command contact import CSV, and you could add them right into command that way. Up top, there's a few more customization options. The theme, you can choose a header image. That's where this purple is up top. You can make it KW red if you want. Change the background color. You can see that's kind of on the left there. Font style. If you wanted to change that up, you could do that as well. This is how you preview the page. Now this is just the Google Doc page. This is not exactly how it's going to look on your website because the website's just going to take this center box to embed it. But it's way you can check it out. And then the settings tab right here, there's another important tool. So I find that with KW Google site or Google accounts, it automatically checks this right here. You want to get rid of that because that restricts to only Keller Williams accounts. And obviously most of our clients are not Keller Williams agents. There's a lot of different settings you can customize in here. You can limit everyone to only one response. They can edit it after they submit their answers. They can see the answers of other people. I would not re recommend that for a form like this, you know, with different home evaluations. Go to presentation. This is another important blank right here. So as soon as they click submit, the page is going to show that it's been submitted and this is the response they'll see. So depending on the different form, you might not say, you might want to say thank you. We have received your form and we'll be in contact, you know, by the end of the day, whatever you want to say. So again, there's a few more customization options here, some different forms. You could show a progress bar that I think would show them the percentage they have completed as they go through. You can do random question orders and quizzes. I think you can add uh, different yeah, point values to the questions. Again, there's a lot you can do in here to make these forms really customized and more appealing to the eye. Obviously, this one's very simple, but uh, we're just going to keep it as is. So I'm just going to go back here, pull up a form that I created earlier today. So you'll see all the different questions. And if you click these dots right here, you can change up the order of your questions, which makes it easy. You don't have to think about it up front. You can always rearrange them later. So spend some time here, really customize it. Once you have it all the way set up you want, you're going to go up here, click the send button. There's a few different options. You can send the form directly via email. You can include the form in the email. You can share a link. You can even shorten the URL if you want. But right here is what we want. Embed HTML. This is how we're going to add the code to our website. So as you see here, you can customize what size you want, depending on, you know, if you think people are going to be using desktop more, you might want to make it a bit bigger. Uh, for mobile, I haven't tested it out, but you're probably going to want to go a bit smaller. I think mobile is usually around 480 width. Um, so we're going to try that one out. You can also share them to social media right through there, but that will share this link right here. Whereas I highly recommend you embed this to your site and then share the site URL to social media. That way you're directing traffic to your agent site and not just to a Google Doc. So now that you have your size set up, go ahead and click copy or you can right click, go to copy, click the X there. So now we're going to go ahead and create the page on our uh, command. So go over to command, click on landing pages on the bottom left. Uh, 
click on create a new site up top right you want it on your agent site and then you click create page go ahead and give your page a title now this is not your menu title this is just for your reference and your list of pages you've created um, so we'll call this home eval now the uh, different widget options I find for HTML coding you can use agent profile or company profile in terms of the preset widgets I know some people also like to use the text box which you can't save just the text box you'd also have to add a contact form underneath but for today we're just going to use the company profile keep it simple go ahead and click configure widget at the bottom right click on company profile and you'll see all the different fields you need to fill out so headline that's what goes in this big gray box we'll say home evaluation the intro text box is where I like to copy or paste my HTML code because that's what goes right up top of the page you could also do it in one of these lower sections section one text as long as there's not a character limit like that one that only allows 30 characters you can see this one does not have that so you can add as many as you want and this is how you can really get creative with the sites because you can put as much coding as you want in there so you'll see I copied that right over I did control V you can also right click click paste so go ahead and save and apply you can see how it looks you'll see the form gets thrown right on there you can change this header image up top you can add a bunch of info in the sections if you want just for today I'm gonna keep it all blank with the uh, required asterisk fields if you want it blank just put a space in there you can also delete images and it gets rid of those uh, clunky boxes so we're just gonna clear all these fields out just to get through this quickly and then click Save and Apply so now you'll see your page all set up right there and you're gonna click save up top would you like to publish as agent site yes now I found that sometimes it will erase all of my hard work right there so I always like to double check to make sure it's saved so as you can see it erased all my information so sometimes you know I'll just put in a headline right here save it and then get back in there and you know add your info that way you don't have to go through that again but we'll just breeze through this again real quick oh shoot I erased that all right let's try getting out of here not saving don't want to lose the header picture again just clearing out all these forms just to make it quick and easy not have anything else on the page except the form save and apply add to your agent site now hopefully when I check this out it will have actually saved this time bam so you see the form is saved so we're good there Let's go ahead and get back out by clicking save now you're going to hop over to agent site settings to add the page you just created to your site click on the pages tab right here scroll down and click add page on the left give your page a title this is what's going to show up in your site menu so you know whatever you want to put to get people to click on it is up to you give it a URL slug and then you can add an SEO description there which is optional then you got to go to select page down here find the page you just created and click continue then you save it data has been saved so it should be directly on our agent site right now let's go ahead and open a new tab go to the agent site 
make sure it worked. You'll see home evaluation right there. And bam, there's your new page. So now I'm going to show you real quick how it looks when someone fills this form out. This is a very user-friendly form here, which I love. And let's pretend they want to sell tomorrow, because everyone wants a seller ready to go. So they're going to click Submit, and you'll see right up here immediately it says, whatever you typed in earlier, thank you, your request has been received, we'll be in contact. So now it might take a minute for this email to go through. But it's very quick. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. Now, if you have your notifications set up on your phone, you're going to get this right away once the email goes through, obviously, uh, which makes it very easy to follow up in a timely manner. Which, as I'm sure all of you know, when you receive online leads, time is of the essence you need to respond as soon as possible. So you get your email and you click view summary and it's gonna bring you to the page where you're gonna see all your different responses. So for this specific one, I've obviously filled it out a couple times just to test it. So if you go to these three dots, again, you can download the CSV right there, you can print it. You can also go to individual and click through the individual forms. So as you see, this is a very simple way to add lead forms to your website, but there's also you know, tons of different options you could do with forms. You could do open house feedback forms where you, you know, send the URL to people as soon as they walk in the house. You could do, you know, how was the how was our client event you know get some feedback on that you could have them really do anything i mean there's so much you can do with these so i would love to see what you guys come up with so if anyone follows this video and creates their own page please post it in the comments um, i would love to check them out and uh, we can share ideas and yeah very easy very easy and it looks very clean I'm going to have to check to see how it looks on mobile at that size. But again, you can play around with the different sizes, see what works best. But that is the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. But again, please share what you create. Let's, uh, let's get creative and see what we can do. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.